One of the more interesting features of case classes is that the objects they create are immutable. Uh, this is very significant for a number of reasons and it's worth looking at how this uh, can work and how you utilize this in your programs. So if we open up the Scala RAPL and we define a case class we'll make some arbitrary type here, we'll call it a player. And the player has a name, which is a string, and we'll say the player has a location defined by an X and a Y. Now, uh, one of the things that might happen when a player is playing a game is that they, they move around. So, this winds up being significant for the immutable part in that if you create a val for a player and we give them a location well I can get out the values of p.x and p.y I cannot assign to them so that is you're not allowed to to make that change uh, because the name the x and the y values are all in, are all vowels basically? Uh, that's part of being a case class. On the other hand, uh, so while this is helpful and you can utilize it, you don't have to worry about pieces of code messing with your your instances. There are times when you want to be able to change things. For example, if the player were supposed to move around in this, so we had a def. Uh, move right that takes a player well it cannot modify that player so it is going to give us back a new player and then the question is what goes here how do we make a new player that is to the right so it would have a, a larger x value and the uh, obviously we could make a completely new player we could say something like player of p dot name comma p dot x plus one comma p dot y. That would work. Okay, we could then say move right of the p that we define above, and we'd get a new player. Um, However, this would become unwieldy, especially if we started adding more and more fields to our player. This isn't so bad when there's only three things inside of there, but imagine if there were seven or ten or more. Uh, that could become problematic, especially in a situation like this where we really only wanted to change one thing. And because that is such a common uh, need, there is a method that comes with being a case class that is called copy. And the way that copy works is it makes a new instance of the case class that uses all of the same values except for the ones that you specify. Now, in order to make this work, we have to use named parameters. So one of the things that you can do with, with Scala, and we generally have not utilized this, is you can, uh, if there are uh, arguments that have default values, you can leave those off and then you can specify what arguments are match up with what not by where they are in the argument list but by specifying the name so in this case we can get the same effect that we had before using the copy method and so what this says is that when you call move right on the player P, it's going to make a copy of P and it's going to set the X value in this copy to be P dot X plus one. And so you can see we get the same value here. So we didn't have to specifically specify the name and the Y value. All that we had to specify was the value of our, our new X. And once again, this would be particularly helpful if the number of parameters were particularly large. Um, and so using this, we could also make a def move left 
which takes a player and gives back a player and it's p dot copy with x equal to p dot x minus one now of course to make these usable instead of declaring a val p we really would have wanted to have p be a var uh, so that we can do things like like this and then we can say p equals move right of p by making it a var then we can assign new values into there and repeating this multiple times allows you to see how you get somewhat different or we get modified values where the x has been moved over so that's something to keep in mind when you use case classes uh, there are ways of making mutable classes in Scala uh, but for now we're primarily using our classes to group together data and so we will typically prefer the immutable case class. And that's it for this video. Hopefully we'll see you again soon.